Hi, I'm Lisette Guzman. And I'm Diana Davalos. And this is your Friday DTN 3. The trial for Michael Jackson's doctor finished its second week today. This week, the prosecution team presented a slew of witnesses, accounts, including character witnesses and medical experts. A smoking gun witness was presented earlier in the week when prosecutors called several of Conrad Murray's girlfriends to the stand. Sade Andig was on the phone with Murray when prosecutors allege Jackson went into cardiac arrest. Sade testified that she heard a muffled cough in the background when she was speaking with Murray. Stay tuned next week for more courtroom drama. Did you buy a cup of coffee today? I know Diana did. If so, how much did you spend? A recent study shows that although it is cheaper to make coffee at home, Americans don't mind spending their hard-earned money for a daily cup of joe. A study conducted by the National Coffee Association shows that more than half of Americans purchase coffee on a daily basis. Los Angeles and San Francisco ranked in the top 10 cities in the U.S. who spend the most, an average of $26 to $30 a month. Chicago took the number one slot by spending 2.9 times more daily than the average American. Earlier this week, a major icon passed away in computer technology. Former Apple CEO and Chairman Steve Jobs, who had been suffering from pancreatic cancer, died at the age of 56 on Wednesday. It was because of Jobs' leadership and innovations that we now have devices like iPhones, tablets, iMacs, and iPods, among others. Our thoughts are with the family and those close to Jobs. Big news in the Southland this week was the weather. Southern California experienced its first big storm of the fall season. The cold front moved in midweek and brought periods of heavy rain across the Southland. Let's take a look at what the weekend forecast has to offer. Upper 60s, and moving into the weekend, the weather will warm up. Saturday and Sunday will be in the mid 70s, and next week it should feel like summer again, with temperatures in the 70s and 80s. Fun-sized candy bars in large amounts can only mean one thing. Halloween has finally arrived. The haunted doors have been swung open for those who dare at Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights. This year, the Adventure Park features elaborate mazes created by the most disturbing minds of horror films. Mazes include Alice Cooper's Welcome to My Nightmare, director and musician Rob Zombie's House of a Thousand Corpses and 3D Zombie Vision, and Eli Roth's Hostel Hunting Season. Actor Diego Luna has designed the maze La Llorona, or Weeping Woman. Halloween Horror Nights runs now until October 31st on select weekdates. Visit their website, HalloweenHorrorNight.com, and find out how to get up to $15 off for this weekend's admission. Halloween Treat, the Cal State Fullerton Theater Department brings you Chemical Imbalance, a dark comic adaptation of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. The play starts tonight at 8 p.m. and will be showing until the end of October. This weekend, travel back in time at the Anatolian Cultures and Food Festival, taking place at the OC Fairgrounds in Costa Mesa. At the festival, experience what it was like to have lived during the rule of the Roman and Ottoman Empires, and are encouraged to dress up in ancient garb. For more information, please visit www.anatoliafestival.org. That's all for this week's Friday DTN3. Stay tuned next week. Have a great weekend. That was much